Hey guys, long time no see, so I'm coming back for Black Ops 6, and then obviously I'll be back even more in the content space once Warzone, the new Warzone drops with all the Black Ops 6 weapons, but I have been uh, working on Black Ops 6, getting all the weapons up to date on the website. So as of about 8 a.m. this morning, before the game even released in the U.S., I have all of the primary weapons up on TrueGameData.com for you guys to go check out. The apps don't have Black Ops 6 yet, we gotta push updates, uh, so hopefully that'll be in the next few days. Uh, but in this video, I want to talk about a mechanic that uh, I sort of caused to exist, I think, and it's pretty cool, and I think it's interesting, so we're going to talk about it. So I'm sure a lot of you watched this video that I made about a year ago on why aim felt so weird in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone at the time, specifically for, like, mouse and key. It was all about aim sway, and I called it strafing reticle shift and aiming reticle shift, which were mechanics that uh, we didn't have in the past, so I will go in more depth into all those things again, a little later on for Black Ops, but I want to talk about specifically the the aim sway portion of what I talked about in that video today. So um, I will put a link to that video if you want to watch it. It was a pretty long one, but it was really informative. Um, so what I talked about in that video was how when you ADS with a weapon, the aim sway is like constantly happening in the background and you can't tell where you're actually aimed because as soon as you scope in, it goes to where it was actively in that aim sway pattern. Um, so they actually removed that from Warzone and created a delay where it slowly, gradually started to sway away from the center of the screen when you ADS'd. And that was pretty much caused by my video. Um, so now they've actually kind of turned that into a mechanic in Black Ops 6. So to start with, the weapons have that still. So you can see here, I've got a sniper target down there. If I ADS on this person, uh, you're going to see that it's going to snap somewhere. And it's actually really, really bad in Black Ops 6. This is the unfortunate part of this. Um, this feels worse to me than pretty much any other game I've tested this in. So this is, I'm not moving the mouse at all. Um, this is also applicable to controller. This isn't just mouse and key. Um, so this is just a crazy amount of aim sway that you just have no clue where you're aimed when you actually ADS in. So that was the thing I complained about. I said, you know, you should always know where you're aimed when you ADS. Like that's how every shooter should be always. Uh, and it was really just frustrating, especially on mouse and key. Again, this is completely applicable to both. I had a ton of people on my tweet about this saying that, oh, it doesn't affect people using controllers. It definitely still does. This is completely independent of aim assist in virtually every way. Um, but it's just that this sort of effect just feels a lot worse on mouse and key because it's such a precise input compared to controller. So anyway, they've turned this into a mechanic now where you can put an attachment on there that actually reduces this effect. All right, so the attachment is called the... Um, the target laser. So there's only one attachment that I found that actually impacts this stat. So the target laser here, it doesn't say it in game, uh, but if you look at the stats, I, I guess they actually have detailed stats in game now. So the target laser, you can see this a ADS idle sway. It's behind my camera. Let me move my camera real fast. Um, yeah, so right here, ADS idle sway delay. So that is the amount of time it takes from when you ADS to when that idle sway starts actually happening. So if it's zero, that's a really bad thing because that means that you ADS and it's already been happening and it's going to happen immediately. So that's the thing we don't want. When you put this target laser on there, it brings it up to 2800 milliseconds or 2.8 seconds for the sniper rifle. So now let's go back into the game and I will show you guys what this looks like. Uh, and you can see that it's it's going to basically completely remove that effect. So now I'm on this person's the target's head and if I ADS, it's going to be right where I expect it to be. It still has a little bit of aim sway in the background, but this is obviously, compared to what I just showed you, this is a hundred times better and very usable now. So I think that's fine, like, I wanted to see it removed completely, and I still would prefer that o over this, but the fact that they turned it into an actual mechanic with an attachment, like, I'm just 100% of the time going to have this attachment on my, my sniper rifles specifically, uh, and even some ARs in some cases, probably any long range gun, I think could benefit from this. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys this because I think it's really interesting. And if you're trying to level snipers or anything like that, I think you should absolutely have this target laser on your weapon. It's just going to make, especially in multiplayer with all the quick combat that's going on, you need to know where you where you're ADS when you ADS. So I think this is really important. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. All right, quick note over on true game data, we do have black ops six here, you can see it over on the right or up here in the menu in the top left. Comparison tools should have all of the primary weapons. We don't have the attachments yet. I'm writing out the code to pull the attachments now. Should be able to have those in the next few days, though. Um, I have all the primary weapons up. So all the assault rifles, LMGs, SMGs, marksman rifles, and sniper rifles. Um, those are all up. Pistols will be coming soon. Um, but you guys can hop on here, compare the base weapon stats, because that's going to be 
that's the most important thing, right? Like the attachments do affect it, of course, but being able to see where they lie uh, to start with just with no attachments uh, is a really good baseline. So that's up, got that up uh, really quickly. Something else I wanted to mention, we now have a uh, a Twitch bot. So we have True Game Data bot. You can connect your Twitch account to your True Game Data account and then just mod the bot slash mod True Game Data bot in your Twitch stream. Uh, and then you can link all of your builds directly from True Game Data that you've saved on your True Game Data account into chat. So you can see right here, I have a Strafey boy. Uh, this is a Superi for Warzone. I got my attachments here and I have a Twitch command, exclamation point Superi. So in Twitch chat, if someone says that, True Game Data Bot is going to respond. Uh, this is True Game Data's superior build. Uh, it's called Strafey Boy, and it has you know these attachments. So it'll directly put that in your chat, which I think is really cool. Um, so let streamers that you watch know about this. I think people really like it once they get to use it, but we're just having a hard time getting people to get over that the activation energy of of setting it up, which takes like two seconds. So I don't know, I don't know why it's a problem, but I think this could be really cool. A lot of people will use this, so I wanted to show that to you guys. All right, everybody, that is it for the video. As always, the best way to support the continued development of True Game Data for Warzone, for Black Ops 6, YouTube videos, just a direct subscription on True Game Data goes so far to help us out. So we appreciate any support, whether you just like the video, comment on the video, watch the video, it doesn't matter. Uh, but that is the direct best way to support. So I just wanted to mention that. So if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.